sponsored by Chow Pinhole Academy. Well, receding gums are unattractive and can cause tooth sensitivity, but many people avoid gum grafting because they've heard that it's painful. But now there is a faster, easier treatment called pinhole gum rejuvenation. So joining us today is Sal Gayton, the director of the Pinhole Academy, who works closely with Dr. John Chow, the inventor of pinhole gum rejuvenation. It's the first minimally invasive treatment for gum recession and does not require scalpels or sutures. Dr. John Chow has trained over 3,500 dentists from around the world at the Pinhole Academy and is continuing training of doctors with online classes. Sal, thank you so much for joining me today. It's great to be with you. What are receding gums and are they only common uh, or a concern for older people? Receding gums is the condition where the gums shrink away from the teeth and uh, if left untreated in some cases can lead to tooth loss. And of course, nobody wants tooth loss. Uh, gum recession can happen in young and old. Uh, we had a patient, Chelsea, who came into our office one day, 18 year old, uh, beautiful young lady, and she had gum recession. So she was able to consult with Dr. Chow and Dr. Chow was able to correct her gum recession in one visit, no scalpels, no sutures, and she was really, really happy. So what exactly is pinhole gum rejuvenation and why is it becoming a favorite option for treating receding gums? Well, traditionally, if someone had gum recession, uh, gum grafting was the option, the most favored option, but that required scalpels and sutures. Dr. Chow uh, came up with the pinhole surgical technique where he figured out that through small entry points, he could use special instruments, gently loosen the gum tissue, bring it back into place to cover the recession, no scalpels, no sutures, and much easier on the patient. So patients love this option. Oh, I bet. So then what exactly does the healing process look like? Yes, the healing process is much easier uh, because there's no scalpels and sutures. So typically, uh, pinhole patients are back in action the next day. Uh, they're eating normal foods the next day. So the recovery time is much faster and much easier on the patient. Has pinhole been clinically proven to be effective even for long-term results? Yes, uh, in the IJPRD, the International Journal of Periodontics and Restorative Dentistry, it was proved through study that the pinhole surgical technique was deemed effective and a long-term result. So uh, pretty much equal with gum grafting or other traditional methods. Uh, so the effective rate is fantastic for pinhole patients long-term as well. And as the director of the Pinhole Academy, you've seen over 3,500 dentists worldwide train in pinhole gum rejuvenation. Why have so many dentists decided to be trained in the pinhole method? Yes, we've trained over 3,500 dentists worldwide in the pinhole method, and they come to learn the method because their patients want an alternative to gum grafting, uh, which requires scalpels and sutures. So we've trained so many doctors. They love the procedure. It's easy for them to learn, easy for them to do, and uh, they're able to help so many patients with this new method, uh, the pinhole surgical technique. And how can viewers or dentists learn more about pinhole gum rejuvenation or dentist training? Yes, they can go to our website, pinholeacademy.com, if they want to find a dentist in their area. Uh, and dentists also can go to pinholeacademy.com to find out about how to become trained in this procedure that is like magic uh, for their patients. Okay, Sal, thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, nice being with you.